Hey, what's up everybody? It's Levi Ellis here. Thanks again for watching and welcome to my new subscribers. If you're new to my channel, I'm trying to bring you cryptocurrency news in an entertainment kind of way. So it's easy for you to digest. So, Monday, bloody Monday. What the hell? So, the market cap dropped from Saturday at approximately 114, 115 billion market cap to today at 93 billion market cap. So that is an approximately loss of 18.4% and the biggest loser in the top 3 is Ethereum with approximately 21% drop. So that worries me a lot because I already indicated that I'm selling off some Ethereum because I'm a little bit worried about the scalability issues of Ethereum and blockchain in general for future purposes like Internet of Things for instance. Hence on the long term I'm very bullish on IOTA still in the Internet of Things realm doing billions transactions per second is a must in my opinion. Now last week we already saw that Ethereum had some troubles with the status ICO which caused the Ethereum network to fail and also with the 10x ICO we saw that a 5 figure number of transactions were pending. So it's pretty obvious that Ethereum cannot handle large amount of transactions. So therefore from a currency perspective and a DAP slash smart contract perspective, I want to talk about Dash and EOS today. So yes, the EOS ICO started today, but the reason I am pretty enthusiastic about EOS is that the CTO of Steemit is involved in this, who has also been involved in BitShares. And as we all know, Steemit can handle a lot of transactions per second, hence their system works smoothly with upvoting. And remember, also upvoting are transactions on the ledger. So EOS claims that they are capable to do millions of transactions per second. So that's look promising in my opinion. Also, they make it easier for app developers so that app developers only need to focus on business logic and they have created some kind of blockchain operating system with some key features such as databases, scheduling, account permission and authentication. So of course they do not have a lot of traction like Ethereum and they do not have a strong Ethereum enterprise alliance like group behind them. But as you know, I'm an investor. A hobby investor though and not a trader so I'm looking at things that might revolutionize the space and of course it's all in an early stage to determine whether it will be a success or not but I think EOS has big chances to succeed then I want to talk about Dash so where Bitcoin has scalability issues in terms of being a currency Dash is making a lot of huge steps at the moment. So initially I thought, and I have not researched it well enough then, but it was announced clearly up front that Dash Evolution was coming up. And in my opinion, I thought it was only about, let's say, focusing on easy usability so that your grandmother can use Dash as well. But apparently there is a lot of more things in the pipeline to improve Dash. So one of the things that stood out in my opinion is that they want to increase the block size to 400 MB and they are going to do hardware and software upgrades in order to achieve that. So with such a large block size increase they will have a very huge competitive advantage. They already have a 2 MB block size at the moment and to 400 will make them even a serious competitor to Visa and Mastercard etc. Also of course the constant stream of income via the ways of awards that is, are being shared. 10% to Dash itself, 45% to the masternodes and 45% to the miners gives Dash the advantage compared to other blockchains or cryptocurrencies since they do not need to have external funding. 
So if you do not have any dash right now, I'm not saying you should get some, but I have hold on to my dash and I didn't sold them off yet. Yes, I did sold some of them off to participate to the 10X ICO because I didn't want to get involved with all the drama that Ethereum was having and I'm happy that I did because I was not one of the persons that had a pending transaction and not came true for the ICO. So that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.